To me, the 4th of July celebrates something that our ancestors gave their lives for, something that makes our country stand apart from so many others. Today, on our nation's birthday, let us remember that one gift that makes America so special, freedom. I brought all my books. Where do you want to begin? Let's start with atomic energy. What do you know about nuclear fission? Oh, not much. Always end up losing my bait. <laughs> Better put it on a pot of cocoa, Kevin. It's going to be a long night. Hi, Becky. What would you like for lunch? Don't be shy. Kelly, you're talking to a duck. I've had ducks before. I know what they eat. What? A box of quackers. <laughs> this is Kelly Desire. It's evening. The candles are lit. And you're with the one you love. All that's missing is that special, romantic song. <laughs> Boring. How about you, Kelly? Well, mine's more serious than that. You see, whenever I like a boy for some strange reason, I end up hurting him. <laughs> you mean you break up with him, right? No, I mean, I hurt him. Ooh, <laughs> this is creepy. You see, First, I get this terrible headache, and something happens, and I, I snap. <laughs> you poor thing. Zach, she sounds weird. Quiet. I have to listen to this. I black out, then wake up. The police are there, and that poor boy. The poor boy! The poor boy, what? Come on. Ah. Zaka, we are preparing for a midterm, not a prom. Hey, Kelly, relax. <laughs> Think I want to be Slater's slave? We're going to ace this midterm. Trust me. Well, OK. Are you sure? That's what I want to know. <laughs> what are you doing here? Zach, you said you knew all the questions. I couldn't keep it from my best friends. I'm such a wicked queen. I'm so downright mean. Snow White will be called before she hits 16. Hold it a minute. Kelly, I am having trouble believing that you are a wicked queen. Me too, Mr. Bainbridge. Can I audition for Snow White? I'm not a nasty person. You are an actress, Kelly. <laughs> now, let's just say that Snow White was picked as head cheerleader. How would you feel then? And then there was a recount for Homecoming Queen, and Snow White was the winner there, too. You're a husband, Kelly. You're ancient history. <laughs> now I want to hear you rap. They say Snow White's the cutest of the cute. Just wait till I give her this piece of fruit. I brewed it some poison and gave it a coat, and now I'm going to shove it down her pretty little throat. You know, I've been thinking about teaching a lot lately. Teachers help people. They can make a difference. If you were my teacher, I'd stay after school every day. <laughs> <laughs> you do that now, honey. <laughs> you know, I hope I do well. And if I'm good at teaching, I just may have found a career. Okay, let me tell you a story about fate, right? In college, I was accepted to a prestigious semester at sea program. But then, Zach asked me to stay home and marry him instead. What? I know, so romantic, right? <laughs> but I said no. And then days later, I'm on the boat, and we're about ready to set sail, and then I ask the universe to send me a sign that I made the right decision. And just then, I see Zach's face in the water because he's standing right behind me, wearing a humongous jean jacket. So I got off the boat and married him right away. <laughs> Pretty spooky, huh? Kelly, that wasn't fate. That was your boyfriend going to a place he knew you'd be and continuing a conversation from earlier. No. <laughs> No, no, the universe would never lead me to a bad decision. Jesse, if I didn't get off the boat, I could have lost Zach forever. Or you could have talked to him on the phone every day and married him when you got back. Boats have phones? Oh, God. Wait, if fate didn't make the decision, then who did? My dumbass? I lost my job today. Oh, Daddy, that's terrible. No, 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 everything's gonna be all right. I'm telling you first because I know you'll help keep everybody else's spirits up while I'm trying to find another job. <sighs> Daddy? Yeah? I want to help. I want you to take this money. OK. 
Kelly, I gave you that money last week for the prom. I'm not going to the prom. There are seven other people in this house besides me. Family comes first. Honey, this is not why I came up here. I know that. But you gotta let me do this. I'll go to the prom next year, unless peace really gets out of hand. Kelly, <laughs> I can't let you do that, honey. Why not? You do it all the time. Remember when you saved up all your money for your golf clubs and I needed braces? Yeah. My smile's better than your golf score. <laughs> <laughs> you needed them. And you need this. Here comes another lawsuit. She's got him! She does. Well, if I had to go out and hire a female lifeguard, I said to myself, Leon, go out and find the very best. <laughs> Yeah, just a little embarrassed. You were saved by a girl, Norman. Just gonna have to find some way to live with it. Zach, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I came to see you. Well, you kind of picked an awkward time. Zach, I like you to meet Melvin Nerdly. You're Melvin Nerdly? Just call me Mel. <laughs> you play chess? Yeah, and football and baseball and hockey. I even model a little. See you tomorrow, Kelly. All right. <laughs> it's a great idea about dating other people, Zach. Tonight, Melvin taught me chess. Tomorrow, he's teaching me Lombada. Thanks. Oh, no. uh, look, Kelly, I've been acting crazy recently, but now I'm back to normal. I want to go out with you and nobody else. Zach, I adore your innocence. When two nuts in a forest are dating other nuts, they can't go steady with each other. Good night. Leave your mini skirts at home, girls, because winter winds are here. <laughs> cut it! Cut it! But tomorrow you can slip back in your bikinis because we'll have sunshine at all local beaches. <laughs> but don't stay at the beach too long because there's a 50% chance of rain tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I am beats. I must have served a zillion hamburgers tonight. <laughs> well, I guess it's time for you to rest your buns. <laughs> hey, I'm not complaining. I made $30 in tips tonight. Not bad. Sounds like you can afford to take a night off. What do you mean? Kelly, everybody is talking about this costume ball. Now, why aren't you going? Jeff, I just got this job. I couldn't ask for time off already. If you'd like to go, take the night off. It's OK with me. <laughs> Are you sure you're not going to miss me here? Well, of course I'm going to miss you. I always miss you when you're gone. <laughs> you do? You're terrific, Kelly. You too, Jeff. You know, you're the nicest guy I've met in a long time. Can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. Clumsy me. Will someone please call nine one one. I finally have you all to myself. Uh, what are you gonna do with me? And, uh, what's the bat for? Softball practice, silly. Sure, is that, uh, what you told Slater? <laughs> I want you, Zach. Not just for the dance, but forever. Oh, forever is such a long time. <laughs> that could be a very short time, too. <laughs> Don't fight it, Zach. You know you like me. <laughs> well, sure I do, but, uh... I also like cheeseburgers. And I like the Lakers. I like life. I love life. I want to live. <laughs> Kiss me, Zach. 
and change both of our lives forever. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I already have a date. I've given this a lot of thought. <laughs> and I don't want you going out with Todd Winfield. Zach, he's my friend. You can't tell me who to be friends with. Either you cancel the date or else. <laughs> or else what, Zach? Or else we stop seeing each other. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. Well, that's how you feel? OK. Well, good. I'm glad that's settled. Good. Here's your ring back. Goodbye. Don't you have a curfew? Oh, besides, this place bites, Kelly. We were just leaving. That's right. right. Yeah, yeah, it's come on. Well, I thought this was a happening place to be. I mean, yeah. everybody comes here. Yes, Kelly, unfortunately, everybody comes here. Kelly, let's get out of here. Yeah. Um, no. Thanks, guys. But um, I have to deal with this myself. Hi, can I cut in? Kelly! <laughs> Hi. Uh, excuse us, Janet. Kelly, what are you doing here? I'd ask you the same thing, but I already know the answer. Why, Jeff? Well, it's not like we're going steady or anything. I, I mean, uh, I mean, I like you a lot. I broke up with a great guy for you. You're very special to me, but I'm just not ready for a commitment right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I fell for a dishonest jerk like you. Goodbye. Let's kill him. Yeah, let's tear him into little pieces. And then let's take those little pieces and expel them. Right. <laughs> Wait a second. Aren't you coming? I mean, you should be madder than all of us. Oh, I'm furious. But killing Zach isn't the answer. He'll just do it again. Oh, and I suppose you have a better idea? Listen, guys, you don't date Zach Morris without learning a few tricks. Let's teach him a lesson you won't forget. Kelly, what are you doing? The same thing she was doing in class. They have been caught making out all over school. And he doesn't even go here. <laughs> Kelly, I thought you were my girlfriend. Oh, yeah, I meant to talk to you about that. This is Vince, one of the guys who called me. You've been replaced. Who's a dweeb? Just some old mistake. <laughs> Sorry, Slater, I already had dinner plans with Screechy. Yeah, and after that, Kel Kel and I are going to be studying at my place. Yeah, probably till late. <laughs> Screechy? Kel Kel? There you go. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's getting cold, huh? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I wonder if we just kiss. That's what it felt like to me. Uh, Kelly, I didn't I, plan. I know. Me neither. Let's say 8 o'clock. OK. Huh? Morris, you're taking Kelly to the prom? Oh, Matt, uh, yeah, I am. It's funny how things work out, huh? <laughs> Aren't you afraid of her brothers? Uh, Matt, Matt, I'll handle it. <laughs> Jamie looks very lonely over there. See ya. Good luck, man. Yeah, watch those thumbs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's that all about, Zach? How should I know? Matt's a weird guy. Zach, I know that look. Did you somehow talk Matt into not taking me to the prom? Oh, Kelly, how can you think I'd do something like that? You're Zach Morris. You'll do anything to get what you want. Well, you know what? You can go to the prom alone. Guys, I don't have it figured out either. I've been going behind Zach's back to meet with a man. What? what? Who's secretly tutoring me for the MCATs. Why did you tell it like that? I mean, my company is doing great, but I want to help people. Well, you do help people. No, I sell snake oil to rich idiots. Literally. Cobra chai. It's tea with venom in it to puff up your lips. <coughs> Scratch your tongue. Are you all right? You don't sound so good. Yeah, my cat made those noises before he coughed up a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. He swallowed a bone. Oh, Somebody quick, help. Here, I can handle this. I was a 
lifeguard. I knew that. <laughs> Screech, don't panic. I'm gonna put my arms around you and try to force that bone out of your throat, okay? Oh. How did that feel? More and more. Screech. Oh. Did I get it? It was wonderful. Is it good for you? <laughs> oh. oh, I got it. The bone flew out. What'd you have for lunch, a coyote? Hey, Curly. Long time no see. Weren't you at our house yesterday having a cannonball contest with Zach? Yeah, my splashes are normally much bigger. There's something wrong with your pool. Everything okay? Yeah, I just kind of had a bummer lunch with Jesse. Oh, she going on and on again about climate change? Ugh. I mean, who cares? Zach, I could just ride a surfboard. It does all that. Are you okay? <clears throat> no, choking. I need, I need a doctor. <clears throat> oh my God. <clears throat> it's a sign. <clears throat> Okay, your airway is blocked. I'm gonna have to perform a tracheotomy. <coughs> wait, 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 what about I'm like? No, there's no time for that. Back up, kids! Coach Slater is about to lose a lot of blood! Jesse made me do it. I'm not really joking. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs>